Okay, we're just leaving Amori Harbour. So that's no, turn right around, that's alright. Big ass cruise ship. Amori. Mountain in the background. Uh, the mountain. The big triangular thing. Cruise ship. Well, we can see that. Next stop, Hokkaido. One last thing, this is a 1.7 kilometer uh, barrier that they've erected in the harbour. So, you know, fair old size. Okay, this is Mori Station in Hokkaido. And uh, interestingly, it's uh, gotten back to being 19 degrees, which is really nice. It's about right. I could do with it being a little bit warmer, maybe, but it's actually, this is fine. Uh, and I'm going to go along the road here, I think, and try and. Uh, Sapporo is kind of like this around the corner and up the coast and whatever. Um, but it's more or less along this road. So I'll keep trying to hitchhike along here, I guess. But there's a 7 up over there, so I'm going to get a coffee. Okay, Mount Usu is uh, beyond this ridge. Unfortunately, we can't, I can't see it from here. Um, but apparently there was an eruption. And this whole area, this is a, basically a trail that you can walk up. It's a bit hard. But as you can see, everything, basically, it's, this is all a fault line. So, you know... The road's cracked. It's 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 up here. You know, it's at this kind of angle. Some of it. Um, the path isn't too bad, but the road's pretty bad. Um, <clears throat> it's you know, open up, and this is all a fault line. Um, the mini Graben fault line, fault zone, um, due to a an upheaval in the year two thousand. I reckon that's that's images of what happened basically so this whole area it's 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 uh, i mean the, the trees are starting to grow back now but um that's what's happened because uh the crater is the, the sorry the caldera the caldera which is a big lake is in that direction but uzu is, usu is like that direction and usu came later usu uh is, is the actual volcano, and it actually came considerably later than the caldera. So I'm a bit further along the trail. There's a lookout out there. Uh, and there's the remains of someone's house. It's hard going. They built this nice walkway, but it's a bit steep. So it's a great view from up here. And over there, there's not a fire, it's a volcanic vent. It's a steam coming out. And it's just like on the hillside. Where's he gone? I've reached the lookout on the trail, which goes down that way. That's the town of Toya obviously the sea beyond and then directly behind is that's the island in the middle of the caldera so the caldera is along here it's the, the big lake um, that's my massive backpack which is 
way too heavy. Um, and then up. A few seconds. Okay, that's a bit slightly nearer, but I'm here because right at the top, there, right in the middle of the picture, that's Mount Ossum. Uh, it's the best view I can get from here. I'll probably get a better one when I'm down. Oh, down over there somewhere. I think there's um you can go down and you go down to the bottom of the caldera so down there somewhere. So I'll take another one there. Oh, quick non-zoom version. Um I hadn't really noticed that there's um a little tiny crater here. So the second look out there and there's a little pool down here. I don't think it's volcanic because it's not steaming. But that's see over there. That's the it's actually, it looks nearer to me than it does to the camera, I guess. Okay, quick history lesson. Okay. That's, there was a, a national highway here, and the the lava dome cut the uh, cut it off basically, which is um, lava dome is beyond there, I guess. So the road used to go. The road is down there. And the road used to go all the way along and off. But now there is no road. Uh, it's nothing but wilderness. Okay, this is Japanese knotweed, but that's not what we're looking at. The reveal is. The Kildera Lake. Should be more dramatic, I suppose, but I'll zoom in in a minute. And here's the zoomed version. And that's uh, the island in the middle of the caldera. Um, I'll take a bit more footage in a minute. Okay, so a little bit further down the hill. Um, it carries on, obviously, through there. And that's the island in the middle of the lake. It's behind those trees. This is probably about the best, closest view I can get, the flattest view of it. And that's Mount Usu, which is just along from the lake. Basically, it's on the southern, southern, southern banks of the lake. And it's, um, I think it said it, they said it was 3,000 years younger than the caldera. So the lake is 10,000 years old, and this is like 7,000, 6,000, 7,000 years old, I think. And there you go, that's a better one. Showing most of the lake from above. So yay, I'm at lake level. Uh, this is a volcanic crater. And the lake that formed here. Um, and although it's June, it's the second week of June. And Hokkaido is about the same sort of latitude as the south of France. Um, it's not terribly warm today, so it doesn't look that... So I think jumping in the lake, maybe not a good idea right now, unless I want to get cold, which I don't. And I'll take another, uh, there's another, there's a ridge up there, there's a, a the road, the main road goes up, uh, around I guess, up there somewhere I suppose, and then across there, along there, and then uh, from the top of the ridge, you can look down, and that'll be the last one I think I'll do from here. Yoki-do.